full house tonight, huh? Thank you for coming. I'm going to read this because otherwise I'm going to say too much about Rebecca and um, then we'll be here all night. So, uh, how, how many of you are new and haven't been to the concert series before? Tonight. Welcome, a special welcome to you. We're, we're really happy to have you here for the first time, and I hope not the last. We have lots of events that happen here. We do about 16 professional concerts a year. They're all free. Um, we do appreciate your donations. Thank you for those who could and did do that. That all those, all the donations tonight go to the Jazz and World Music Program of Wellesley. So we're really happy for your support. Thank you very much for that. Um, the next big event is we have the Orlando Concert, which is an early music group from England coming, and they will be doing a vocal, among other things, they'll be here for about a week, and they'll be doing a vocal soundtrack to the 1928 film, Joan of Arc, um, silent film, and that'll be in the beautiful Houghton Chapel, which is that way, and um, we hope that you will join us for that and the other uh, events that they'll be doing. And if you're not on our mailing list yet, uh, please do put your name on the mailing list or you can, there's a way to text. Anyway, you probably got the information on my um, emails. So I hope you will join the mailing list because you'll get lots of information all throughout the year, the school year. Um, a little housekeeping, please turn your cell phones off now so we don't have little funny beeps in the middle of a beautiful tune. Um, also, no flash photography and please no videography. We have our videographer here, and um, out of respect to the artists, we ask that you do that. Um, I also want to thank the concert staff, which are a lot of student ushers who are probably out there and aren't hearing me, but um, they've been working really hard, as well as the faculty of the Jazz and World Music Program, really working hard this week. Yeah. And our audio engineer, uh, Mark Oakham, and our recording engineer. Um, we're happy for all that technology to be in place and um, our media services department as well. Okay, um, here we go. A few decades ago I, in California, I became aware of Afro-Cuban music and it changed my life to learn about the complex patterns, the deep traditions, and the vibrant spirit of both the sacred music and the, and the uh, secular music and dance. I was hooked. Well, around that time of totally immer immersing myself in learning that stuff, uh, that material, I met Rebecca, Rebecca Molion. We studied in Havana together uh, a couple of summers <coughs> with the masters, and she was always well respected there already and, and quite accomplished at what she was doing and learning. Uh, I've been following her career since then and been a friend, and um, she has played and recorded with many luminaries playing on Grammy-winning tunes. She's won Grammy nominations for her own compositions. She's an incredible composer, performer, author, and um, she's really unsurpassed as an educator of, of the deep and long history of Afro-Cuban music's journey through, through to jazz and beyond. Now she serves as the education director at SF Jazz, which is a wonderful new organization. If you ever go to California, to, to San Francisco, I highly recommend going to visit SF Jazz. See a show there if you can. The building is new and beautiful. And she's doing amazing things with the community there. Um, she also teaches at a couple of really lucky universities. Hint, hint. <laughs> Um, and, and she does projects of all kinds. So anyway, you can read about her, uh, but the great thing is that you'll have a chance to meet and um, hear her tonight. I'm proud to have been a student with her so long ago, and I'm proud to be able to call her a friend. And now I'm proud to have brought her here to Wellesley, where she has spent time with our jazz and world music students every evening, every day, for uh, about five days. And it has been an enlightening and exciting week for our department, our classes, our ensembles. And I would venture to say that some of the students and all of the faculty that's been there probably got hooked, which was my ulterior motive in the first place. Um, tonight, she's joined by virtuoso performers, Justo Almario on saxophone, Jimmy Branley on drums, and Carlito del Puerto on bass. And we celebrate the culmination of this incredible week that she has joined us here. We hope that afterwards you will join um, us for a reception and a showcase of, of what some of the students have learned 
during this week, they'll be playing, actually, um, for the reception. And that'll happen over in the music salon, which is on the other side of the uh, building, but the, there will be um, students to direct you after the performance. Um, and maybe we can all jam. There's a few extra instruments there, so, you know, <laughs> don't, don't be shy. Um, also, Rebecca will be on hand to, she has some CDs for sale for only $10. Honestly, that's such a steal, and she'll sign them for you. Um, She'll have them after the, sh after the show and also at the reception. The show will be 90 minutes with no intermission. Um, and I think that's all I had to say. So thank you very much for coming. <coughs> My name is Isabel Fine. I'm the concert manager. And you may email me, call me, send a pigeon, anything, <laughs> so that I get what you want to say to me. Because I would like to hear the good, the bad, the suggestions, and um, and all of that. So again, thank you very much for being here tonight to share this incredible performance, and I can't wait, so I won't. So, um.
so much. Muchas gracias. Okay, so uh, we're, I think we're a little warmed up now. <laughs> How wonderful to be here with all of you. We've had such a great week, and uh, this is sort of like the icing on the cake with the sprinkles. So thank you so much for welcoming me and welcoming the band. We're so uh, we're so happy to be here all the way in this beautiful part of the country and the beautiful campus of Wellesley. Um, I would like to introduce these amazing uh, cohorts of mine on the bass, Mr. Carlitos Puerto Jr. That is the bass. On the drums, Mr. Jimmy Brandley. And on the saxophone and flute, the Latin Coltrane, Mr. Justo Armario. to thank, but especially Isabel uh, and all of her crew for having us here, and Cuco for doing the sound, and just, we've been so welcome all week, and it's been such a joy uh, to work with all the students, and we look forward to uh, hanging out and uh, sharing some, some time after the show. Uh, that first piece was a, a very classic piece by the great Puerto Rican composer, Rafael Hernandez, uh, with an arrangement by the great Emiliano Salvador, one of the important uh, contemporary Cuban pianists. Um, and actually, Carlitos and I were talking about this, that Carlos recorded on uh, Emiliano's last record when you were 16, is that right? That was just five months ago or something. <laughs> One day, just a couple of days ago. Uh, so we were so honored uh, you know, to meet Emiliano on my, my first trip to Cuba, and uh, what an incredible spirit. And somebody who really transformed the aesthetic of Cuban piano and really bringing the, the more contemporary harmony uh, into that while still being very true to the percussive element. He, like many pianists, uh, was a percussionist as well, so I really uh, am indebted to him. Uh, the next piece is also a classic by the uh, by uh, Moisés Simons. This is one of the most, uh, probably one of the most recorded Cuban standards of all time. The Peanut Vendor, uh, Manicero, and this is from uh, the Descarga in California CD, which uh, you might be able to grab a copy before you go tonight. And Manicero. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mario. So, um, in addition to honoring some of the great Cuban and Puerto Rican composers, but mostly Cuban composers, I um, wanted to also contribute something to the program. This is an original of mine, written quite some time ago, uh, contemplating a peaceful world. Uh, somewhere in the middle of the forest, I came up with this 6-8 um, called No Borders, um, and we're going to feature Mr. Carlitos Puerto on the piece.
we, um, when we get together every, every so often, uh, a lot of what happens up here, obviously, is very spontaneous. Um, and it's sort of like flying without a net, you know, um, which is always very exciting and thrilling. Uh, we were doing a program at the SF Jazz Center, and, uh, a family program, and one of the children in the audience asked one of the musicians, you know, why do you like jazz so much? And one of the best answers I've heard so far is because you never know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, and Afro-Cuban jazz is basically the same thing. Um, and this next piece, also an original, uh, was composed actually for an instructional video uh, back some time with a percussionist, very influential percussionist by the name of Jose Luis Quintana, otherwise known as Changuito. Uh, we were filming a, a video in New York and uh, he needed a tune to sort of showcase some of the evolution of this style we call songo, which is again a you know, contemporary style of Cuban dance music. So I came up with this called Songo Mania, or in English, Songo Mania. So we'll dedicate this to Changuito.
And you better buckle your seatbelt if you're going to try to clap to the beat on this one. <laughs> We're having fun. Syncopation is my life. Sorry, what can I say? Um, are you guys having fun? I hope you're having fun. We sure are. And for all of you out there in streaming land, we're live streaming this, so you can yell extra loud. You know. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, we're going to uh, take it way back uh, to another classic composition by the great Ernesto Leguana. Um, this is probably one of his most well known pieces, other than La Maragueña, which is, of course, a lot of pieces that people play. If you're, a, if you're a piano player and you have any idea of something Latin, that's usually one that you learn. Uh, but La Comparsa is a beautiful piece, um, and Comparsa is uh, essentially an ensemble that plays music for Carnaval in Cuba, and so the Comparsa is the contingent or the group that goes down the street playing this percussion and brass and whatnot, and so he tried to convey a little bit of that um, in the piece, but of course the piece is very kind of slow and lilting, uh, but it still preserves that element of that syncopation that's in there, although just a, a much slower tempo. And actually this particular arrangement is sort of a hybrid uh, Paquito de Rivera actually did a beautiful recording back in, I'm going to say, probably the mid-80s. I think Danilo uh, Perez on the piano and a few other people on this recording. It's on the Mesidor label. And I heard it and I fell in love with it. So it's sort of an adaptation of that with something else. Um, and uh, it goes something like this. <coughs>
Killer Joe.
but um, Emiliano was also an incredible composer. Emiliano Salvador, we did his arrangement at the opening uh, of the set with Capoito de Arely. This is his arrangement, named after the boulevard where he lived in La Habana, Quinta Avenida, beautiful central boulevard. Um, and we're going to dedicate this to any Cubans who might be in the audience. <laughs> no, there are a few of you out there, so dedicamos a los cubanos, a la gente de Cuba, aquí y allá. Uh, this is Quinta Avenida, featuring Jimmy Bennett.
looking at the old clock on the wall, and I see that uh, we're just about out of time. I think maybe we have time for one more. But would you mind if I change up the program? I know some of you are writing an assignment about tonight's show, so we're, gonna, we're just going to mess with you right now. Uh, we have some folks listening in California who requested this next piece. And we've been talking all week about this idea of the descarga, the jam session, you know, just sometimes you don't need a lot of chord changes, you don't need anything really complicated, you just need a good groove. And um, back in the 50s, a great pianist by the name of Frank Emilio Flynn, I know these names don't sound very Cuban, but you know, like Jimmy Brantley, I mean, where's this guy from? <laughs> you know, it's the ancestry. Um, but uh, Frank Emilio was an incredible pianist, and he came up with this, this groove that's so infectious, and uh, we thought we'd just uh, end the night with a little bit of a descarga and what we call fofi. Fofi, 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 fofi. It's just, you know, it's just a groove, uh, but it's a little bit different. Uh, here we go. Gandinga, mondongo, y sandunga. I can spell it out later for, you, for those of you writing the paper. <laughs>